All right, guys, I know uh, that you're all probably tired of uh, the old Vouch stuff, but you know what? I just want to see how Ethan responds, and that should be the end of it. And then everybody can move back on to their, you know, beautiful times, and we could all have fun again. And you can watch your favorite content creator, Vouch, um, because, you know, hopefully he can recover before the election because he's very... Um... <laughs> Because, you know, that's the priority, of course. Anyway, it's just a part of the stream. Um, and I'm curious as to what Ethan has to say about the response. And this time, I'm not going to be eating an apple. Because people got upset with me that I was eating an apple. But I was hungry when I reacted to it. I was hungry. Like, it was. I was going to get off stream and go eat. And then I had to do it. So I wanted to have an apple. I'm sorry. I'll try not to eat. Okay. <laughs> Look at me. I'm, I'm skin and bones. Let's just go. He promised yeah. us a update video. And he did post an update video. Now, <sighs> why does it seem like Ethan's always sick? I don't understand. Just curious. I did not need a two-hour video. It's like two hours long. Um, it really didn't need to be a two-hour video because most of that apology was terrible. Most of it was responding. To, um, like I understand he felt like he was out of context. The big issue people had was what was in the folder. That was the issue. It wasn't all the other stuff. And the I think that the rambling worked though um it made it made people it distracted people from the real issue the real issue wasn't the really the old stuff that was part of the issue because of what was in his horse folder um people were like oh this is concerning now we're going to look at all some of the old stuff he said and it was more of that you know for the most part all the old stuff he said i've said before it was just attention baiting he wanted to say things provocatively for attention so that he can get like he can get people from twitter to like tune into his stuff um, that's my take at least, you know, you can disagree. I don't really care. Um, but it was really just concerning what he had in his folder. You know, I don't think that he's a, you know what, but I think it's certainly degenerate. So in my opinion, the video should just be like, you know what? I have issues. It's not normal. And frankly, I, I probably should get help for it. And that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. That probably would have been fun. You know, <laughs> but instead he spent two hours trying to talk about how, he, he he's a really he is a, a great speaker he does have a talent for for orating in another age yeah. he could have been adolf hitler probably that's like, jesus christ that's like saying somebody's like a really good debater you know what i mean where it's like you're not really it's not you're not really saying you're very good that you're right or you're honest you're just like really good at beating or bludgeoning somebody with your point that's what he this is like it's insulting it's a backhanded compliment um he could have easily he could be, he, he's probably hiling Hitler back in uh, okay. alternate universe as we speak. Okay. Um, but instead, instead of that, we got two hours of him explaining that he's just edgy, essentially. Yeah, yeah um, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, you watch the whole thing. If you, if you had to summarize it. Yeah, so he goes by clip by clip explaining it, and he says that these clips make him cringe and that they've haunted him since he said them. There were most of them around 2018, 2019, and he didn't realize the harm in what he was saying. He didn't even realize how bad that it looked to audiences outside of his own until he debated it with a bigger creator. And so he's trying to justify them. He says that, that he they were cringe, they were bad, but he okay. is not a pedo. Okay. Much. I promise you guys. And that part I, I, I agree with. I don't think that he's a pedo. So Guys, I am not a pedo. I want to make this very clear. Dude, you lost when you're already in that. I promise you guys, everybody, listen, I'm not a pedo. Like, I don't think that that kind of content necessarily makes you that, but I think that it's concerning, right, at the very least. Like, what is it? It makes you something. <laughs> it's like, what is that, you know? Please. Um, here's the video. Let me pull it up. Please react to a clip of a Canadian criminal defense lawyer stating his opinion on the Vosh stuff. What, like, maybe. Where is, would I see that? Just to give you an, an idea of you know, what we're dealing with here. That would make sense, all that kind Too of stuff. Well. That he was edgy back in the days, but we did see your hard Not drive. Not with the fucking... That's your hard drive. So I keep, I keep coming back to On it, the but. hard drive. And there's, if he had made this video two months ago, it probably would have been a good move, right? To yeah. just like... Well, yeah, he already has made a video addressing all this stuff before, I'm pretty sure. Like a year ago. So he already has. It's that it's resurging because of the weird stuff in the hard drive. All at once address all these old clips <laughs> of him that have been floating around, but like... Now the circumstance what? is pretty different, dude. What is happening? Is Ethan dying? It's pretty different now, isn't it? And there's more things coming up now. Someone found what is in the video folder. People found out the tiny oh, no. sliver of the thumbnail. I saw that, and oh, I wasn't. I looked God. into it a bit, and I wasn't sure if it was something or nothing. I don't know either. But <laughs> I saw like a short clip, and now people oh, are digging into I think that. I watched the more. same thing you saw. Oh, you yeah. saw. oh boy. So, but I mean, listen. At the end of the day, the folder kind of you got, you can't let him take you on this trip, or this two-hour journey of um, interweaving excuses and contextual stuff. None of that. I mean, listen. The folder just end the story. Let me just play you guys here. Let me. I, Cheers, my. Horse. You know what? I want to show you guys the new stuff okay. before. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd skill me with the horse thing. Runkle the the Dale the Bailey? What? Let me let me pepper his excuses with some new stuff. <clears throat> First, let's remember what I like to call the one-two punch. Right now, we've all jerked at the lolly at some point or another. Ah! We've all well, you don't have a penis. We have all that's shh. We have at some point in our lives been going fucking crazy on some hentai site, and we've been fucking- What is this supposed to be? The non- Um... Yeah, the, uh... I'm sorry for the non-fun stuff, but, um... Yeah, I, I don't accept Vosh's- I mean, some of- I watched his defense. Some of the quotes, like, are certainly quotes that are taken out of context, and I believe him when he says that a lot of his edgier statements were just to be edgy, um... You know, an edgy debate bro. I get that. Yeah, I agree. But the image itself, and the fact that he's offered two separate explanations. In his defense, he says, I am not, like, I didn't know what it was. I barely looked at it. And in his other defense, he says, I looked at it and I thought it was like a goblin. Um, no. So, no, dude. Um, who is Vosh? Vosh is a famous sort of socialist streamer, uh, part of what they call Brett. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. Is there anything else that he says that I need to watch? Um, you can go check it out yourself if you yeah. want. I'll um, don't go looking for the images, folks. Um, you shouldn't look at shit like that. Um, yeah, um, just, yeah. But yeah, um, yeah. Okay, let us, uh, let us look at a funnier story, because... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Stroking as hard as fast as we can, and then after we nut, we go back and look over our history chat, and we go like, oh, jeez. Um, I, I, I once, I sometimes do wonder, like, why... Maybe I shouldn't even ask the question. I didn't, uh, How come there's no pop gut sound bite? But that's probably... You know, I shouldn't ask that question. I probably wouldn't want that. It probably turn out to be so weirdly bad or something. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. oh, boy. Some of these girls look pretty young. Okay, I don't give a fuck, all right? Oh, that's Jesus. Yeah. yeah um, oh, God. What was, what was his excuse for that one? But anyway... <laughs> Then you, you take this clip and then you connect. Well, he was probably say that he's being like an edgy, you know, such and such. Dots and it's GG. Nice. Okay. Next question. Simulated uh, child porn lolly, lolly stuff. Uh, I think it's pretty sussy. It's pretty what sussy. I think that if you have an interest in that sort of stuff, you should definitely be checking yourselves to why. You know, like uh, the, the thing that really bothers me about this shit, apart from the fact that anytime you want to look at like hentai on a hentai site, you have to like negate the tag lolly and thus 50%. So he says here, interestingly, he goes back that he negates the tag lolly. But his excuse for having the lolly stuff is that he was just downloading. Oh, he, I don't think he said that. What he actually said was that you have to negate the tag if you don't want to see the lolly. <laughs> but it does imply that he does do that. So then how did it even wait? Oh, my God. Wait a minute. This might have blown the whole thing open. If that does imply that he negates the, the tag lolly and on the website that he uses, he does negate it, then you shouldn't have never have seen it in the first place because the tag in and of itself would have stopped you from being able to see it. Oh my god, dude. Stuff willy nilly from this oh website. Oh my god. Willy nilly? Will it be wobbly? <laughs> I think it's pretty sussy. We got them, guys. Content. The thing that bothers yeah. me is people who pretend there's no relationship whatsoever between like drawn lolly shit and actual attraction to children. Of course yeah. there's a relationship between those things. Ridiculous to pretend otherwise. So, I mean, but let me show you the new stuff that I know. Well, I think that's why Vosh is saying that, like, well, I didn't notice it. It just looked like goblins. <laughs> what he actually said, which was weird to me, he was like, it was just short stack goblin. And that I'm a, a size queen. So I'm assuming that the uh, what he's trying to say is that he likes big wee wees, but and he likes it when the big wee wees are in small hands, so, so that they look bigger. I, I don't really understand it. We've all jerked. I had my jaw on the floor. Uh, 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 let's see. He did not address the context here. Can I open this? Oh yeah, dude. Okay, so this is all new stuff. This one isn't. Not that bad, but it's just another one. I mean, it's bad. For anybody, it's bad. For him, it's not that yeah, bad. Yeah, that's from 2018, just to be clear. But it's just another on the giant pile. This is new. I've always wanted to discuss this really interesting article I read about the sexual dynamics of pre-colonial Hawaiian civilization because they sure had no problem fucking kids, and the anthropological evidence seemed to suggest there wasn't a culture of child abuse. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. That one, uh, that one hits me. That one's pretty fucking crazy. I feel like this is the worst thing I've ever seen from him. Like, <laughs> okay, so sorry, needed a second. That one took me, but that one knocked the wind out of me a little bit. So. I suppose from an educated uh, teacher perspective, like a college perspective, I don't know, you could probably sit down and have a conversation about how pre-colonial Hawaiian civilization would, uh, uh, this is from Vosh's, I don't know if this is true, by his account, they would sleep with children, but there was no evidence, anthropological evidence, to suggest that the kids were abused. I'm sure you could probably sit down and have that educated conversation in like a lecture hall or something. 
I would imagine that part of the conversation is, well, since the society thought it was okay and normal, they wouldn't take, um, they wouldn't like identify the signs of abuse in these kids. And it was so normalized, you know? So like it was still abusive, but nobody had the, I don't know, understanding of abuse. I, I, I don't know. But I feel like with what we know about Vouch, this looks pretty bad. This again, it kind of like says to me, like, oh, maybe there's a defense for it. I, <laughs> I don't know, man. This one's a little. This actually, is, to me, and maybe is I'm the uh, the worst. Maybe I'm just like uh, interpreting it wrong. But to me, this is the worst one. This one is the worst one to me. Actually, on, like unironically, I think it's the worst one because it's like, uh, why are you curious about that? You know, like what's 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 your motivation behind that? You think it's a really interesting, stimulating conversation to have, or are you exploring the ideas of uh, something? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh boy. New, as in, oh boy. I'm just seeing this for the first time. Yeah, it's from 2018, not that long ago. Again, he has a uh, persistent interest. Here he is. This one is nuts. Yeah. So now, presumably, it's alleged that this is him. I haven't seen him try to deny it. This is his user, Irish Laddie. That's what he was known as. Yeah. Before he switched his name to Vosh. I think in part he changed the name because of all these scandals, right? That's, that's my read. understanding. I think the big one was when he had like that whole thing where he was being a sex pest to those girls. Um, and um, here is a <coughs> backup of an AMA request in which he wanted to ask people. Um, he was seeking AMA request, an active participant in bestiality. <laughs> as long as um okay as long as we're keeping with the theme of sexual deviancy how do you cope with yourself and what keeping with the theme of sexual deviancy so he wants to talk to people who are participating in bestiality and sexual deviancy first question how do you cope with yourself when you discover your fetish two do you feel sick or worthless or anything like that three do you agree with how society and law views bestiality four do you find different animals more or less attractive or is it a blanket thing like dogs are better than horses which are better than pigs or something or is it just animals in general have you told any friends and family how did they react this again oh <laughs> dude what is wrong bro the best thing i could say is that you got, get please get help to me it's clear that you actually want to fuck animals get a get a therapist and it's possible that you want to i don't know fuck other things too <laughs> i don't know dude this is wild i you know i honestly feel like the people who get really butthurt and upset that of wash criticisms are just like so used to his degeneracy and possibly engage in a similar de like level of degeneracy that they're just like okay whatever because there's just no fucking way man this is insane to me there's no fucking way <laughs> <laughs> wild well internet footprint man come on i mean i guess this was back in 2012 so that's a long time ago hopefully he learned to cope with his stuff but still a little weird no to me you should be a little more ashamed of yourself at least you know it's like oh yeah i'm attracted to dogs but uh you don't tell anybody it shouldn't be on the internet <laughs> but you're looking for a community of dog fuckers <laughs> or whatever uh okay when you put it all together, it's crazy. <sighs> it's a the little crazy. Wild, dude. It's a little crazy. But that's not even the worst. Here's a comment in that thread. Oh, and as an honest aside question, how the fuck does horse girl sex work or horse gay gentleman sex? I understand what happens. I just don't understand how it happens. Getting fucked by a horse. <laughs> that's um, you know, I'm thinking that the horse, the what did he say, a horse? Yeah, I, I'm thinking that the I, I'm I'm not thinking about it. I'm thinking I'm not thinking about it. That I didn't want to. I don't even I don't even know what's happening right now. Yeah, man. He continues. Um. I'm a child. Stop Stop saying these things. <laughs> he says, uh, oh, this is from our sex. Or oh, that was the AMA was there. How so? It had um, brown shoulders. I mean, I like girls having sex with horses, and that wasn't there, but, you know, within reason. What was the context of that? I feel like something's cut out here. So weird Cheers, my horse. Up. Okay. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I feel like I saw one with more context, but anyway. Oh, boy. Um, oh, boy. He says, he responded to another person, oh, well played. Would you suck off a horse? <laughs> Get the fuck out. Okay, and then another one. Okay, I see you're into some weird ass bestiality stuff. Be honest with me here. Would you take it in the ass from a horse? Well, I don't want to jump to conclusions. <laughs> That's why I'm showing all this. How are some of you unironically mad? You're such losers. It's just a horse. Mods, you can change it back. Thank you for keeping it going for a while, though. I like the horse posting. It was a good era. Okay. So um... there's an AMA of him asking into. I, you know, if I did an AMA, I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't centralize it around uh, my my sexual deviancy or my fetishes. Details about. Sexual deviance and bestiality. <clears throat> it seems to show some interest in it. 
he says in his new video, by the way, that he's done with the underage uh, jokes that he gets from chat. They could continue with the horse jokes. Those are funny. He thinks those are funny, but okay. not the underage. Because for him, it's like, I'm not, I don't want to fuck kids. I just want to fuck horses. Yeah. And like, that's not as bad, frankly. And it's, that's not as bad, especially since the horse, you know, has a big vagina. It's used to taking big horse pee-pee. So if you, I, I imagine you couldn't hurt it. Still not consensual, but not as bad as like a dog. Because, you know, I feel like you you definitely hurt a dog, right? Um, unless you had a micro pee-pee. I don't know. <laughs> Um. <laughs> Listen, dude, I'm just having fun. All right. We're just being silly. Yep. But it's still really fucked up. Like yeah. a horse thing by itself would destroy most people. But if he can convince people, no, I just want to fuck horse animals, not kids, that's a huge dub for him. Mm -hmm. Never before was that a dub. <laughs> sure. Until now. Hello, Vosh. You but, have to pull it with the horse stuff. Pam. There, here is a Discord message between him and Poppy that I had not seen. This is the girl that he. Um, sexually harassed in discord yeah he said to her poppy said she kept commenting how young i looked and scolding my ex which made, made it a hundred times weirder Fosh responded i do imagine you looking like a lolly now rem incredible remember this is the girl that he's pursuing aggressively and he imagines her like a should we do, do uh, honestly i'm wondering something lolly and we're not talking about crossing guards in england here's the worst one okay. this is the one that put my jaw on the floor okay i, I was speechless literally this one's pretty bad. I mean, this one's disturbing. Let me be real. So yeah. step away if you need to. Um, here he is talking in a Discord chat. I'm going to read the chat. <coughs> is this the old video? You know, generally in the past, I feel as though you've been a little bit more cautious with your rhetoric. Had accused me of engaging in sex. For like, this is a conversation. Say their name. Are they like anonymous? I won't if they don't. I mean, I'd prefer not to, but. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, I mean, I. Is this the old conversation that they had had about. Do we want to look at this? Your level, if they haven't sent you anything, like these kinds of like conversations seem to be geared towards making a person feel bad enough to send you nude pictures. Um, the, the, the aggressive, like, why are you so disinterested in being flirtatious with me? Um, the, the pushing somebody, even though they've kind of said they're asexual, like it seems to me that we're kind of pointing in, in a particular direction. That, well, that I, was, pretty obvious. I, was, I was very confused at certain points because sometimes she said stuff to me that I interpreted as flirtatious. I'm not sure. So like a her. normal, so like the responsible thing is like, if you're confused, then you probably wouldn't lean into it 150%, right? Yeah. That's why I stopped after this. I completely rethought how I talk to people online after this poppy debacle. And since then I have been really fucking careful about engaging with people because I am, and I hate to pull this out because this sounds like some bullshit ass fucking, uh, uh, Dude, I bet my dick would look colossal in his hands after saying she looks like a lolly. This guy's so weird. Wait, the, it actually makes sense. Maybe he does like seeing big wee-wees inside of little girl hands. Ew. I don't know, dude. Do we want to jump down this pipeline however many years later? Because I feel like it's relevant now. And it's like weird. From that's why I didn't want to talk to this guy. Like a couple of years ago, I found it like it, it, this one thing to be like pushy. This guy like is, was beyond pushy from what I remember. I was like, I don't want to fucking talk to this guy. This guy's a creep. Um, Public called that he nailed Vosh's personality perfectly, just guilt tripping girls into sexual activity. Absolutely, that's my. That's my that might have been what my wife said. She might have said he's the kind of guy to hang out around girls that get drunk. Um, I don't know. August, can you put together like what what should I what should I watch? August, you seem to be the most knowledgeable. Should we just do this? I don't know. Well, let's finish the Ethan segment and we'll think more about it. Yeah, he starts off by saying, "If you really want to fuck children, wait twenty years for VR lolly porn and don't tell anybody you use it." <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's one way to do it. He continues, and especially don't defend it online. Well, there's he made he broke his own rule. Yeah, true. And then he says, "That's the best we can all hope for." Oopsie. The we part is crushing me. I mean, even if it's a, like, what kind of, <laughs> it gets to a point where, <laughs> is it supposed to be some kind of a joke? I don't get it. <laughs> what? Like, I was reading this and reading this, and then when I hit that last line, I was like, ooh, nice. what? One more time. That's, he says, wait 20 years for lolly VR porn. That's the best that we can hope for. <laughs> now, Listen, I use VR porn. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. I hope that they never come up with fucking lolly. That's wild. Get the fuck out of here. Why would you want that? Oh, that's okay. He could mean. Oh, did I fuck up? No, I didn't. We as society. Yeah. We as society would benefit from people just doing that instead of abusing kids, which I think we've pretty much dis disabused or disavowed. Uh. Sussy. So, okay. 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 Uh, sure. Let, uh, let's say Vosh's perspective here. 
uh, we're gonna we're gonna be very charitable. There's Vosh's perspective here. Let's say it is well. It's if we can give you have use VR porn to allow people to look at that kind of content. Maybe that would curb their um, desire to do it with real kids. Maybe. I feel like the opposite would happen. I feel like if you lean into the behavior instead of trying to like manage making the behavior disappear, um, that's worse. I, I feel like that's that's exponentially worse. Like you're better off managing not looking at anything, or else it's just gonna you're just gonna get tired of it at a certain point. Go like I want the real thing. I feel like that would make you lean more into it, right? Rather than less into it. That doesn't really make sense to me. I don't know. This availed, I'm trying to think of a word, but uh, that, that's not even true because the consumption of CP drawn or yeah. otherwise only encourages yeah, these more. deviant behavior more. <laughs> yeah, and Bosch is like, we with that. He said that. He said that? Yeah. And so, I, I, I don't know. This one really fucked me up. I don't know how you... I don't know how you beat that one. I'm sure if he had to explain it, he'll just say, I was talking about society, but I don't buy that. He has a section in his video about Discord messages. This one wasn't in there. He said that he left some out because either they were fake or he doesn't remember the context because it's been so long. They were fake? All right. I'm curious which ones are fake. I'd like for what? you to point those ones out. Yeah. If you really want to fuck children, wait 20 years for VR lolly porn and don't tell anybody you use it. And especially don't defend it online. That's the best we can all hope for. <laughs> Makes it sound like he has a secret coalition of fucking... <laughs> of fucking lollygaggers. Hey, we call us the lollygaggers. <laughs> My lolly pony, my lolly pony. How do you how do you guys like that? Huh? Um. Again, you you added this to the pile, and it's like uh, I don't know. So let's see what he has to say. Um. Let's see if he's going to convince me. Now, without further ado, let's get to the content. We'll start with the absolute worst of it, the monstrously stupid argument that I made way back when I first started streaming that has since haunted me and irreparably tarnished my reputation. Now, this clip is the one that I see cited most often when people are accusing me of being a pedophile. That's not even a little surprising to me, though. It sounds pretty bad. In fact, and this is gonna be a real hot take, I get to hear a convincing moral or legal argument as possession of child pornography. Yeah, let's, let's how he wow. labels it. He says, this is the out of context clip. So he's still trying to do this, this silly game, but let's see. Actual child pornography. Like I said, uh, pretty bad. This clip is from right after I started streaming. So a significant portion of my career as a live streamer has been spent providing context. For yeah. In the ground running. Right. With that one. For the clip over and over to many people and many audiences. I've addressed it so many times that it's, it's, it's turned into like a, a kind of running joke in my community. Very like funny. A, 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 I love jokes about pedophilia. Those are my favorite. <laughs> right. Me and my community, you know the ones who, are right, who will defend me no matter what? That are, the ones that are defending Lolly? We love that joke. Well, remember, he went on, he said it a few times that he came from Destiny's community. So this is Destiny's fault for grooming him into that, uh, this. Oh. That's our favorite. Cursed to keep walking into over and over. It hits me in the head. I often see people outside of my community, people who have seen this. Why couldn't he just like beat a woman like most men do? You know what I mean? Just hit a woman, Vosh. You don't try to, don't jerk off the kid stuff. Because you can come back from that. Ah, sorry, I got it. Sorry. she Because she, it's like one of those things where it's like, I, I, I'm so sorry. I never should have done that. What a horrible thing to do. But come on, guys, you get it, right? That's, <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's terrible. But I do feel like this is just so fucking weird, man. This is so weird. <laughs> It ever this clip, but not see me address it. Mock the idea that any context Go ahead. or anyone else could provide Again, could possibly. Just need me two hours. Give me the context and stop with the fucking grandstanding, bro. Explain away. Too damn long. That sounds that bad. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I'm sorry. I love women. I love women. And don't tell my wife I said that because she will beat the shit out of me when she gets home. Okay, she's a domestic abuser more than me. Okay. No wait. No, we're neither, neither of us are. Neither of us are. Oh! When they see me or my fans, if he really that... wanted to convince anyone, he knows nobody's gonna watch two fucking hours of this shit. That's true. Most people are going to tune out. So he starts with the first one. Oh, yeah, I knew it. It was out of context, and they don't bother to watch the rest. You know, let's get it snappy. 20 minutes max. And now he can say, oh, you didn't watch the whole video? No, AB watched the whole video. Yeah. I've watched enough. Hey, I watched Frankly, it. Frankly, you know, I, I, we know what's in it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know why Ethan doesn't just, like, play it while he's at the gym or something. Like, walk on the treadmill listening to it. <laughs> I've watched it, like, three times. So yeah. I'm like, I'm still not fucking getting it. What am I missing? What's new here? <laughs> still the same shit, pretty much. I feel like it was meant for his audience. Yeah. He says at the end, he goes, I'm sorry to my fans that I made it so hard to be a fan of me. So I think he knows that's, that no one's going to fuck with him after the beautiful. recent shit. And he's just telling his that's audience don't leave, thing. pretty much. It's, yeah, it's an audience retention play. Yeah. And it seems like, for the most part, it's worked. 22,000 likes, the vast majority of likes, um, 400,000 views. Um, and most of the comments seem to be supportive. Yeah, when I checked, they were supportive. Yeah. So I find that all pretty fucking wild. Whoa, scary. Uh, say that this or any other clip has been taken out of context. 
Uh, it comes across to them as an effort to shoo away. I'll, I'll just say that, like, if you really want to, um, if you really want a good breakdown of that Stavosh situation, I would recommend going to this guy named Papa Gut. And, like, the, his video was really good. This is the video. Crazy. By the <laughs> By this point, it's it's just incredible. It's just incredible. Uh, all every <laughs> it's, Ford, uh, straight I mean, line argument. No way people are going to disagree with it. You know, something about me about amazing. the community, and then other people don't respond well to it, and it's frustrating. And it feels like you're just battling. This is a, a fucking acid trip, bro. I did not realize how uh, littered I made that screen. <laughs> okay, yeah, great video that guy made, by the way legitimate suspicion you know chastising people for having an oh opinion on something God. that looks bad like you see a clip oh just Actually, show me what the fucking clip was out of context he's doing this on purpose real consequence of the my of me and then i or a fan of mine comes in it. and we're like uh no you know you need to familiarize yourself with with like 50 hours of stream lore before you can have an opinion on that i have seen people weaponize calls for context in that way so i thought the first couple minutes that was it was just priming his audience to uh think everybody that's uh disagrees with him He's a bad guy. That one was the uh, that one was my favorite part. I think. So I don't fault others for being like kind of. Yeah, Ethan should have responded to my version. It was so much better. Suspicious of that, or or, or not taking it very seriously. Some people are just going to tune out right there. Now, don't get me wrong, bro. When are you going to make a fucking point? What the fuck? Get on with it. He goes. This is out of context. I'm waiting. Is bad. It's uh, rhetorically bad. It's logically bad. It's, it's obviously sense. optically bad. And the broader <laughs> argument that it's pulled from are bad in you know, all of those ways too. Uh, but as for what the clip and the argument that it's pulled from say about me, uh, I would like to make the case, if I may, that it does oh, he, implicate he, he, he me, but kind of not as a pedophile. On. Rather, well, I guess that's all he could really do is just kind of move on, right? Greece invents gay marriage. Wow, he's back, guys. Ghost towns bereft of art. They could be dotted with paintings and sculptures because there are paintings and sculptures and paint. Uh, I guess good for you, man. Uh, as a, a fucking idiot debate bro brain poison. I mean, it does both. It does both. It does both. Jackass. Because I took a perfectly fine argument. I you think that, you know, when I explain it, it'll, the argument itself will make perfect Explain sense. it! Uh, and I explain it now! <laughs> what is all this? <laughs> What's the point of this video? What is all of this right now I'm watching? Well, we're waiting. How am I supposed to find the context, bro? I ruined it with edgy, contrarian, devil's advocate nonsense. So, let me explain. Please, I just started live streaming, oh. and I was far, far more argumentative and- I just started live streaming, and I really wanted people to pay attention to me. So I would say things really provocatively for that attention. Also, back then, the internet was much more niche, so you can get away with doing really weird fucked up and saying really weird shit. So I would talk about my lollycon obsession and fucking horses. <laughs> and oops, now we realized that I had to grow up. Now, by the way, I was like in my mid-20s when I started this. <laughs> I wasn't like a teenager. But yeah, uh, okay. Belligerent and arrogant then than I am now, if you can believe that. Over the background of my mediocre Dead Cells gameplay, an argument with chat on the subject of foreign labor and unethical production was getting increasingly heated. Just in case anyone watching doesn't know, many of the products that we buy from American companies... Oh, he's not going to do this whole fucking thing. Jesus. Who's what? Yeah, none of this was relevant. Ethan, Ethan, as far as I was concerned... Vosh was responding to Ethan. That was it, because Ethan was the one kind of bringing up the allegations again. Okay, cool beans. The fact that he like he he made it seem like Ethan took him out of context. He didn't. He showed the full context of this. He didn't show everything in the clip, but the full context is like I was trying to compare uh, child porn to fucking chocolate. It's like okay, we know the context. Like you can, there might be slavery involved when it comes to that. Yeah, okay. Watching this, I can't finish it. I can't. I I, feel, I have too much sympathy for the audience. <laughs> I, I just feel bad for everybody who's trying to have to watch this bullshit. Um, Getting should I horse. should I keep watching? Maybe I mean, what the fuck? I, I, look again, again. It's the same thing. I feel like he's already justified this before. We've watched this justification. It's the same shit, pretty much. There's a yeah. few points where he talks about like uh, the context is cut off of one of these clips, and so he goes, "Here's the full context." Let's get the, um, um, so we did we did show that one. So I don't know if he was referring to someone else. Of, we showed all the context, people. Anyway, uh, watch. I'm going to speed healing, you up. Okay? So I'm going to give healing, you a shot healing, healing. to speak for yourself to the people. To defend yourself, no, 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 I'm going to put you at 1.5. You are talking kind of slow, so it should work out. Let's see. Are produced through supply chains that take advantage. And by the end, I think I was at like 1.75. <laughs> of what you could consider uh, unethical business practices. You know, like bad workers' rights stuff. Often this takes the form of sweatshop labor. A practice near ubiquitous, for example, in the garment industry, where sewing work is difficult to fully automate. This isn't just a foreign problem, though. Uh, there are garment sweatshops where Bro. workers make less than $2 an hour. Operating right now in Los Angeles, for as an example. 
it's, just, it's a broad issue. But American companies profit from even worse abuses: the mining of cobalt and the harvesting of chocolate. And I don't want to hear about cobalt mining from him anymore. For use uh, of, of child labor, frequently child slavery. Frankly, you know, in practice, often just child slavery. American companies profit enormously from this because uh, these, you know, abusive work conditions. It, it keeps the cost of harvesting materials requiring raw product relatively low, and as a consequence of this, the suffering of children is built into the fabric of our economy. Of exploited workers broadly. But we've heard him do all this. <laughs> yeah. just talking yeah. at greater length and just filibustering harder. It's again true that somebody said uh, they're like, oh, is this filibustering? I was like, maybe I don't know. I mean, did you guys get this from Ethan? The all lives matter argument being applied to CP pretty much. Uh, he, all CP matters, guys. He says he doesn't believe this way anymore, but this is what he was. I don't need to watch it. I know exactly what yeah. he's going to fucking say. It's just so boring. He has the, if you want to go to the lolly clip, he addresses that. Sorry, listen, Vosh. I know if I know you and your fans are going to look at this, but he didn't even watch it. I know your oh, argument. I know what you're saying. I've watched you already explain it a thousand different ways. I don't need to watch you filibustering it for 10 fucking minutes to my poor audience who they come to us for entertainment. They come to watch. I try to actually make a point or do something. What's your argument? <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> all right, so this one is interesting, actually. We caught, we caught him out a little bit. Here he is uh, describing that we've all jerked it to the lolly clip. So let's see what, what's the context here. All right, next clip. We've all jerked it to the lolly. It's hey, these... Slur Passaurus oh. super chatted $4.99. Oh. $4.99 from I didn't think Slur it was gonna play Passaurus. These. I thought it was first broken. super chat ever. Okay. Just wanted to say I'm twerking. I really appreciate that, man. I needed to hear that. That made my whole day, brother. I didn't even, I thought that my thing wasn't working, but. At some point or another. We have at some point in our lives been going fucking crazy on some hentai site, and we've been fucking stro <laughs> stroking as hard and fast as we can, and then after we nut, we go back and look over our history. Chart, after we, we nut? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, boy. Oh, some of these boy. girls look pretty young. You know, this one definitely sounds rougher than the last two clips, uh, uh, but it's, uh, you know, it's a bit. It's a joke. No, Bad it's, joke. what the fuck the joke? It might be a joke. Listen, here's the thing, because you can't just say no, it's not a joke. Especially Ethan, because he tries to lean into, like, the comedy sphere, you know, and I get that. Um... It probably was a joke. The thing is, is that just because something is a joke doesn't mean that there isn't like an intention behind it, right? I make jokes all the time. I make edgy jokes all the time. I like to think that like nobody believes that I'm trying to be like bigoted. Like when I make a silly joke about like a group of people, um, <clears throat> you know, or gay people or something. I, I like to think that you guys know I'm just kidding and I'm being silly. For the most part, when I make a joke... I like to think I'm playing the character of like the ignorant straight white guy. I'm just, that's like stupid. I'm just saying something stupid, you know? So that's my intention is just to have like a good laugh and like just be kind of stupid and silly. And, right. Some people might be making a joke in order to reinforce something, maybe normalize something to their audience. You know, like when I make jokes about how I like hairy women. <laughs> Uh, or I like saggy tits, or I like gray hair, uh, or uh, you know other things that don't bring it up. You know, I might be, I might be recalling on life experience. Okay, I might be. You know, um, sometimes, sometimes maybe it's just a joke. So I don't know. Consistently making that kind of joke though, it could be a little sussy, or it's nothing. It could also be nothing. I don't know. But considering the guy has a has a, a to be sorted lolly picture or two. Um, I don't think it's unreasonable to think that he has uh, a sorted folder for, you know, small hands. What's wrong with hairy women? Nothing, bro. I like hairy women. I'm just saying, dude. So jokes, you know, there can be something behind the joke. And that's the question. And considering Vosh's past of saying very questionable things, uh, yeah, it makes, it makes somebody, it makes you wonder. It makes you wonder. All right, go on, go on, go on. I can explain it. I don't think that'll make it any funnier. Uh, the intended comedy element of an indiscriminate whirlwind masturbator being used ah. to draw attention to a problem, that problem being the ubiquity of Lolicon in hentai sites. I, I, I don't really know how anyone could get like a serious vibe oh, from that. Like boy. there's any kind of like, you know, great. Oh, boy. Again, it's not a funny what? joke at all. I mean, I... What the fuck? That's... I think it's pretty sussy. That's just bullshit. <laughs> hey, guys, nah. I was just kidding on that one. Nah. What? Nah, you just don't get it, dude. What? I was... yeah. He, he could have hid behind that defense if, uh, he, he, if he wasn't actually looking at it. It does. You're I too saw, stupid. You're I, too much of a cretin, a mongrel, if you will. Ew, like, uh, what is a mongrel? The saying, is that a dog? That's kind of hot. I like dogs. Maybe a horse. I like those too, if you know what I'm saying. That they thought this video was good. That's not like just out of context. Then. It's, See, that's me pretending to be posh. <laughs> just adding lore at this point. Just lying. I was kidding. <laughs> yeah, I was it was kidding. actually commentary you about thought, Lolly. You thought you caught him out admitting to watching Lolly. But really, he was doing activism. He was, mm, you caught yourself. Based. He was raising awareness, Ethan. 
He's like, God, who's been to lolly.com and down and gone to this subgenre? And then he's like describing his preference. Isn't this even the clip where he shushes his girlfriend or on the uh, tries to interrupt him? Uh, might have been. Yeah, you don't have a dick. She's like, yeah, shush, you don't have a dick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's like, don't, 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 don't. And he's like, you don't have a dick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's so furious. We gotta get through this message. I will say the only thing that I I didn't initially see was in the Mr. Girl call when he was uh, debating that one dude. He did hang up on him, and he did say that guy is either a pedo or he's really good at acting like one. By the way, YouTube, I just said lolly.com. It's not a real website. Don't fuck with me. This is all it is. Okay. I see. I didn't know that when I said it, but I wanted to make sure. It's nothing. This is the whole website. Okay. They're obviously looking for a high bidder, Vosh, if you're open. They're they're parking on this beautiful domain. <laughs> okay. We've all drifted the lollies. <laughs> Maybe somebody should buy that domain and like make it a thing that's like stop being disgusting, you know? Whatever. So go on, Vosh. Like a helpline. Like a self like some kind of a helpline to get help. Tell me how funny the joke was or cringe looking at it. It's great evidence against me if the point that people are trying to make is that I was or indeed still am cringe. So a point of their No, paper that that's not the point. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't care if you're cringe, cringe bro. Like... Who's this? Well that's also being a pedo is pretty cringe. Yeah, you could be true. It is pretty cringe. I mean, that's that's not the great the great charge yeah, here. Right. Question. Yeah, nah, I think cringe is the is the biggest charge, guys. Cringe. Who wants to be cringe? You know. We're not debating if he's you're, cringe. Right, you're right. You're right. You know. That's let's. Not up for debate. This is. <laughs> right. Sure. Idea. The pedophilia is just another sexual orientation. Citation needed. Like being gay or straight. Oh my gosh. Stop discrimination. Citation needed. It's time to be more. Citation needed, guys. No, nothing screams <clears throat> entertainment like uh. Saint your source, please. You know, it's kind of like a dork thing to do. I get it. I mean, you could say like, you know, what's your source for that? But citation needed, dude. You sound like a debate dork. You sound like a fucking debate dork. You sound like the guy from Revenge of the Nerds that ends up um, sexually assaulting a girl. And then the, the movie makes it seem like it's actually okay because um, he was good at it. It's a real thing in Revenge or one of the nerds movies. The guy dresses in the same Halloween costume as this other this girl's boyfriend and then goes and like fucks her. And she's like, wow, that was amazing. He's like, hey, it was actually me. And she's like, wow, that was so cool. He sexually assaulted her, just to be clear. That was in a movie. <laughs> okay, I know it was a nerd, but that's what happened. Okay, Vosh, that's you. All right, that's you. Don't call me a dork, dude. I'm going to cry. More tolerant of demons who feed on kids. I do take issue with the moral outrage here. Child sexual abuse is widely underreported. It's a huge this problem. This shit again, man. Of young people, and as they grow older, it can lead to many negative mental health consequences. However... This bro was like, I'm going to react to a clip of a conservative um, conspiracy theorist raving about how liberals are sexualizing children. I'm going to respond to this by comparing CP to cobalt production. That'll, that'll show him. That's his S in this video. You eat chocolate? Mm. <laughs> well, then what I do is not that bad, is it? Also, this is a clip, clip, right? I haven't seen this one. Yeah, I actually haven't seen this. Yeah, clip. it's a new one. Thank yeah, let's we'll finish a clip. <laughs> no, I've seen this clip, but I haven't oh. seen this context. So I, I actually am interested. Okay. I think this was a new clip that Ethan hadn't showed. So this is the one where he, yeah, pedophilia, to the extent that we are calling them demons, <laughs> probably <laughs> discourages pedophiles, people who feel attraction towards children, from getting the help they could need to keep themselves from abusing children. By demonizing them to this extent, you are increasing the likelihood of child sexual abuse. See, isn't it so unfortunate when somebody gives like the take that we should uh, uh, provide mental health resources for people like pedophiles, non-offending pedophiles to come forward. It doesn't help when the person looks at child, well, drawn CP, because then it just seems like you're trying to be empathetic to these people, right? I mean, like the, the, the process makes sense. Like provide the pathways, the mental health pathways, because if they don't learn to, like, if you just say like, we're going to, you know, put all the pedos on an island, you're not going to be able to identify them, right? You, you know, you can't read their minds. So saying like, hey, like, um, um, yeah, we want to provide mental health resources to people who come forward. Um, that allows them to come forward and manage their urges before they do something terrible, right? That does make sense. Uh, but it's weird when it comes from somebody who <laughs> seems to have, <laughs> have a little more of a vested interest in it. You know what I mean? I don't want to be that guy, you know, but like the ponytail scream, sc is screaming to me. <laughs> you know, and no, there's nothing wrong with ponytails. There's nothing wrong with ponytails. Although, mm, 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 ponytail, huh? Mm. Mm. <laughs> he wants to be the horse. <laughs> Um, I don't know this cut by a horse this haircut that he has and I, I love ponytails, uh, you know in a, in a normal setting But it's speaking it's doing talking it's sussy. It's sussy. I can't Do say that I mean, It's yeah Because it wasn't just the okay. All right. Maybe I'm off base. Maybe we maybe not <laughs> Is he getting in trouble for making fun of a haircut right now? What are we what the hell's going on Dan? <laughs> the hell <laughs> Not demonize pedophiles, demonize child sexual abuse, and encourage pedophiles Whoa. to get help. Now, if you've got pedophiles who have never uh, sexually abused a child, but they're advocating for it, they're like, yeah, I've never done it, but is there anything really that wrong with lowering the age of consent to 13? Then of course, fuck them. Like, fucking shut them up. Just fucking smack them. But by and large, statistically speaking, there are 370 people watching right now. I'd be willing to bet that at least 20 or 30 of them experience habitual sexual attraction towards children. It's surprisingly common. To those of you who do to an extent that you feel as though uh, it may be like a problem, 
that like a real thing? Do people feel what? Do people feel a bit sexual attraction? Kids? <laughs> Is this like a real thing? Uh, the prevalence of pedophilia in the general population is not known, but estimated to be lower than 5%. Why is he saying 20 to 30%? <laughs> Where does that statistic come from? I'm s what? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, these, I'm looking this up. I, like, I looked it up. I said, do people feel habitual sexual attraction to kids? And like, the, the search is so weird. Because one of them is like, if you only do it once, are you a pedophile? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, this is weird. Why does he get 20 to 30%? What the fuck? Please. Just get some fucking help, my dude. Maybe his audience. Maybe his audience is like 20 to 30%. That would make sense, actually. There's we saw this, you. and we're like, oh, that was good. We're like, that mm -hmm. was good that you said that, but something changed. Who's a person? We can't help the shit that we're into. We can't help our actions. There's nothing feels weird, man, about this. You can't help the things that you're into. If you realize as you're like 20 years old that you would think for kids, what the fuck do you do? Commit fucking Sudoku? Maybe. You just stop existing right then and there? Do you talk? Again, this goes back to my question about like... This by itself like would have been fine, except for the 20 or 30% thing seems weird. But this, but that's we don't just have this. You know what I mean? We have a lot of other stuff. It's like a, we're going to take a picture. I have a feeling, and I don't understand the psychology of it, that the attraction to children is in itself immoral because the attraction is to the power and control and like the stealing of innocence and stuff. Otherwise sure. I don't understand. I don't understand it at all. So like, is, is that a real person? I don't know. I haven't heard from anyone who's like, I'm just, I was just born this way. I'm attracted to kids. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm 20 years old. Um, this is just who I am. And there's nothing to do about it. Like that. Is that a real thing? What? Who is that person? I don't understand this question to be honest with you. I don't know. I'd like to know if it is or not. I'm genuinely curious. I think that only comes after they get caught. That's usually what they'll try to say in court or whatever. Like part, part of being attracted to kids, I feel like, is not, it's the willingness to do it. And part of it is the, I don't know, it seems pathological, like, it's not that simple. Kids love Hitler. It's just, I'm not necessarily, okay, I'm not necessarily understanding what he's saying. Maybe I'm just being stupid. It's really twisted, I don't know. Ask yourself in front of a car? No. You have to live your life anyway. And you have to recognize, if you're a responsible person, like, hey, even, like, even if I just keep this to myself, like, this might affect people someday, you know? I should probably maybe see what I can do about that. Talk to somebody. Okay, this wasn't the worst clip, though. This, is, this one was mild compared to the other stuff. We... That, that one isn't really bad at all. Um, it's just the other stuff with it. I think that's why he used it. So here he is talking about... Um, I thought that it was this one, AB. It's CI. C1. Uh, yeah. Let me see this part. We've all jerked it to Lolly at some point or another. We have at some point... Did I watch yeah, this? That's the one you watch, and then under that's where we... Okay, so here we are watching it in the full context, but wait, there's something missing we from his video. At, we have at some point in our lives been going fucking crazy on some hentai site, and we've been fucking stro ah! stroking as hard and fast as we can, and then after we nut, we go back and look over our history chat, and we go like, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Some of these girls look pretty young. Okay, I don't give a fuck, all right? That um, He cut out the part when he showed it. He cut out the part where he says, I don't give a fuck. Kind of interesting, you know? I mean... It's not like we've all jerked it the low. Change the full context uh, of it, but it certainly doesn't help. And he's not going to be able to say he did it for brevity because the fucking video is two hours long of him just rambling. At some point or another. Did he cut that out in there? We have at some point in our lives been going fucking crazy on some hentai site and we've been fucking stro <laughs> stroking as hard and fast as we can. And then after we nut, we go back, look over our history chat and we go like, oh, geez. Oh, boy. Some of these girls look pretty young. Yeah, this one. I mean, it does. It does change it a bit, right? No, we have. <laughs> oh, yeah. He cuts out the I don't care part. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. Okay. I don't give a fuck. That, oh, boy. I don't give it. I don't give a stinky little poop. I don't give a little stinky poop. Some of these girls yeah, are seems more proud. It's more like, yeah, I do that and yeah. I'm cool with it. It's like, man, you should include that part if you're trying to be address it. Angie totally. Toasty just you know. gifted one membership. Wow, thank you so much. It's a little trickery. Okay, I don't give a fuck. All right. That uh Okay, I don't know. What was his context for that one? Did he like the watching the lolly one? I don't know. Here he is, um, unironically hot. You bought the DLC for Vampire Survivors? I should have became a member. Thank you so much for the membership. Maybe I should. I should be like, hey, why, where's my commission for all this uh, money I'm making here? Uh, I don't know. Are these worth watching? I'd Maybe. say this is the, these last two. I talked it a little more. Good. On to the next one.
Okay, so this one actually is bad, and I've apologized for it uh, a few times. Basically, okay. here I'm doing that thing that guys do where, uh, you know, a hot female teacher will be arrested for raping a student, and the guys in the Facebook comment section will be like, uh, you know, where was she when I was that age? Could have used me some of that. And, and, and basically, like, the what? thing they do where they downplay and trivialize the sexual abuses of the teacher because they personally think it would have been cool if they could have slept with their hot teachers back when they were 14. And yeah, when I was 14, I also wanted to fuck my hot teachers, obviously. Yeah, it's pretty normal for guys to want to do. Although if they actually got the opportunity, they'd probably feel stupid. They'd probably be like upset, you know? But you know, 14-year-olds are idiots. Their uh, interests, desires, and preferences shouldn't really be accounted as a, a solid moral argument to, uh, to anything. So this screenshot isn't really missing any context. Uh, it actually is shitty, but I've since come around on this, and uh, I've recognized how bad it is to downplay or idealize okay. that kind of thing. So, what do you uh, mean? He came he, around to understanding? I guess super at some point he didn't $1 care. And 99 cents. One dollar and ninety nine cents from Ang Toasty. The goose is loose. <laughs> you read, dude. The goose is loose. That's fu the horse is coarse, baby. Fucking weird to say unironically hot to a minor having sex with you, bro. You, what year was that from? That what I find interesting is that it sounds like what Vosh is saying. It's not a joke. It sounds like what he's saying is like, no, I actually. <laughs> was an idiot on that back in the day. So I guess that there was a point in his life where he felt like it wasn't so bad. It was a little weird, but okay. That's, that's I'm surprised up. he didn't just say it was a joke. Some screenshot. Um, How old is that shit? It's Here. either... 20, Here, 2018. Yeah, 2018. Almost everything is 2018. There's like a couple 2017, a couple 2019. How old was he in 2018? Uh, let's see. Again, it's the totality, dude. It's like one, two... I think he was like 23. Yeah. This, that, that. We, we could do it. We could look past it. He was roughly 23, 24. Fucked an adult as a minor. Unironically hot. Hot, and I like that. God. He really put his whole body and soul out there to support that. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, um, okay. So, oh, yeah, what's, baby. He, what's his excuse? Just he, everybody wants to fuck their teacher? I'm, this is what I'm saying. I had to watch it a few times. So I just don't work. fucking get 14. Uh, like, it just seems like he's just, oh, I was just being edgy and trying to say the most crazy thing I could to get a reaction out of people. But <laughs> is I was it, trying is to it blurry make, anymore? Make a point that, well, in most of these instances, that everything is bad. This dude said I, everyone jerks off at Lolly was a joke. What the fuck's the joke? I and, don't give a fuck. Yeah, when I was 14, I okay, also had a moral argument to, uh, to anything. So this screenshot isn't really missing any context. Uh, oh, it actually good. is shitty, but I've since come around on this, and uh, I've recognized how bad it is to downplay or idealize that kind of thing. So, uh, you know, I've been consistent about that for years now on my And channel. that's fine if we didn't see a lolly folder and everything else. True. Um, and then there's one more here. Bosch talks about the recent folder leak. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, so after all that, now I'm surprised I didn't play the soundbite. We we finally arrive uh, at this most recent drama, the, the incident that lit a fire under drama YouTube and is to the drama YouTube baby. The downplay continues. In my mind, the only thing I've done in the past four years that actually actually looks bad. It's pretty fucking embarrassing to say the least. So there I was uh, streaming a few weeks ago, browsing a men's fashion site. Mm, I wanted to look yes, at an image course, more closely, so I right clicked to open the image in a new window, uh, but then accidentally course, instead clicked course, the save yes. as tab in the right click yes. drop down menu. Uh, now, because I am, as has been extensively demonstrated in this video, mm -hmm. a fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a defense I, I recall quite frequently, too, is I'm just an idiot, you guys. I'm not a pedo. I'm just, I'm just a silly little baby. I'm a little goose. I'm a little stinky boy, you know? Idiot. Mm -hmm. Which, again, is much better than being a pedo. Even fucking a horse, like we said, it's way better. You, I'm just a silly little baby. You're like the dumbest horse fucker ever. That's way better than being a pedo. Sussy. Somehow. Sussy. My preferred strategy for keeping my desktop clean is to keep a single big folder called To Be Sorted, where every image, document, music file, whatever, I happen to download gets sent. Now, th this is an insane thing to have as a live streamer, but, you know, there you go. It, it's me. So I, I get what Ethan was asking before. Vosh said you can't help what you're attracted to, equating it to sexual preference, and Ethan believes it's not akin to sexual preference. Uh, okay, if that was what it was. I mean, like, I think it's one of those things nobody chooses to be a pedophile, right? Like, nobody. It's just that the act itself is, is just fundamentally immoral, so it's bad and harmful, right? Hot take. Uh, <clears throat> and so I think that Vosh is in that instance just saying like, oh, if you have this attraction, you probably can't control having the attraction, but you can control your actions. So get help so that your attraction doesn't get worse. You know what I mean? Kind of a thing. Just hit me. save as, and a half second later, uh, a preview window of the folder and its contents popped up on stream. And now, of course, that folder had porn in it, so I immediately ended the stream and deleted the bot. Even if it weren't just embarrassing to make a mistake like that, as one of the largest political live streamers on the platform. Largest ever. It's TOS. Uh, you gotta delete the bot. So, uh, I, I stream with no delay, and folks are always screen capturing the- Yeah, imagine he did have a delay. ...feed, so I, I knew the contents of my to-be-sorted folder uh, and the preview window were irrevocably <laughs> public knowledge. But, uh, to be honest, that didn't really bother me too much. Uh, it was embarrassing, sure, but... Bro, what the fuck? I don't... Mostly... <laughs> What's his point? What does he say? What does he get to the point? Bro's just...
He doesn't. He just keeps going and saying that he didn't think it was Lolly. He's just a size queen. Yapping, to be honest. He's just yapping. What is he trying to hypnotize people into like thinking that he's not a f deviant? It's pretty freak? easy for people to lie about what it contained to stir up drama or they do cause me trouble or for any other reason. So when later on in that stream, one or two people came to chat and they said, uh, "Hey, there was Lolly in there," and, you know, I figured they were just causing trouble and I banned them. Of course, we know where this is going. Uh, by the next day, I had learned from what felt like the- I had learned that, oops, I did have Lolly in there. Entire goddamn internet, the two of the images. Bro, there's no shot that as soon as that happened, he didn't go straight in that folder and think, what did I just show everybody? Yeah. There's no, sh the first thing that motherfucker did is turned off his stream, which I get, if it's porn. Unless you did it on purpose, guys. <laughs> not deviant weird shit. Mm -hmm. He goes, you go in the folder and you say, what did I just do? I need to understand the damage. He knows exactly what he leaked. He looked at each fucking one of them and said, Started being like, okay, I got to explain this shit. Right. He's a smart guy. And so you got to start coming up with the excuses right off the bat, baby. Anyone would do Anyone, that, though. Even yeah, an idiot so, would do yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So, like, his, he's like, I just deleted it and was like, hum -de -de I'm going to go start a stream again. Bullshit, bro. Bullshit. Fuck that. In my folder preview window. Right after he exposed the folder, he posted a video on his second channel downplaying it. What do you mean? Like he made his own video? Uh, we're actually from a well-known Lollicon artist and therefore definitely it intended to be Lolly shit, which has to be the worst possible way to find out about that sort of thing. No. So he, he just found out about it. <laughs> also the way he's trying to like kind of change it. Oh, these pictures were made by a Lolly artist. It's, it's Lolly. It was Lolly. Here's it's the thing. A little Lolly gooner, you know? Because the artist wasn't actually a Lolly. You know what I mean? Like they weren't the drawn child. They just liked drawn children. He's really um, hedging his argument on the notion that his audience have not seen the pictures in that. Yeah, I agree. Right. Oh, I because thought I, I didn't realize I paused again. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have that Trump soundbite of him? I'm just finding out for the first time. That's him. That's Vosh when he finds Lolly. Dude, that's my favorite clip of all time. That was Ian sent that note. That was very good. Oh, that was you, Dan. Oh. Yeah. That was great, Dan. I'm just, uh, it's Lolly. Oh. You just died? Wow. There's no shot, that's true. But yeah, a lot of this hinges on the fact that his audience is not willing to go look at the images and see what they are. Because again, when you do that, I don't think there's a single person that hasn't gone and done that and be like, oh, fuck this. You know what I mean? Sussy. And he kind of brushes it off too at a <coughs> point because he's kind of like, oh, some photos going around weren't even the right ones. There's just some were just completely made up. Which ones then? If right. that helps you, tell me which. Right. No. Obviously, the accusation here isn't just that I had those images saved. That part's true, not really an accusation. But also that I must have known uh, that they were Lolicon and saved them because they were Lolicon. Now, the obvious and predictable but nonetheless true response from me is that no, I didn't know that, and that must not have been the uh, impression I got from those two drawings because if I had gotten that impression, then I wouldn't have saved them. You know, I mean, drawings are. Dude, saving them? He must have loved those images. I mean, yeah, why else would you fucking save it? I don't understand that. I don't understand the saving it. Like, you know, just look at um, children being. <laughs> Drawn children getting fucked on your, on your, uh, on your, on your phone, your incognito tab. Why do you gotta save it? <laughs> Don't look at it at all. But it is extra weird that you like save it. Does anybody else save their porn? I understand back in the day when you had like fucking dial up, but I feel like we're beyond that. Getting an impression <clears throat> from an image. Well, so it's <laughs> like it looks. It, there's no. It looks like young. I look at that shit. Yeah, that's, that's just. Yeah, it's uh, no question. Again, this works if you haven't seen the images. Right. So, mm -hmm. If you haven't seen the images. Yeah, and I feel like most people aren't gonna go see them. And then also, if you're part of Osh's, um, you know, uh, click, what would you, what would you call it? What would you call it? Uh, Schmingle Bank? Audience? That's the word we want. If you're part of Osh's audience, you also might just play it off of like, oh, people must be Photoshopping stuff out of context. Then you can believe this. You need to know an image to save it. You got to love an image to save it. You got to love the image yeah. to save it. Yeah. And art styles and body proportions vary massively, even for characters. He that makes are it sound like he looked at it for like half a second. Ambiguously adults. That doesn't mean lolly shit isn't a thing or a problem. I've bitched about oh, it being geez. a problem like a lot on stream. It just means that carelessly or inattentively failing to notice it isn't exactly impossible. Yeah, I, I know what some people are going to say. You know, no, uh, you must have known. There's no way you didn't know. And like, like, like what am I going to do? Make a, a fucking evidentiary argument here? You know, like, I'm not putting up the images so we can argue about the, the pixels or the proportions or whatever. I, I know fully well that like 99.9% .9 of people who have heard about this drama haven't seen the images, nor do I think... And that is so much to your benefit, my friend. Yeah. Right. That helps. That's the oh, only thing shit. saving you. And 99% of people don't download the porn they're watching. And fucking saving images? That's like serious spank bank. Yes. That's like this image is bomb as fuck. Now, I'm not a porn downloader saver, so I don't know. But to me, if you're going through the hassle of saving it, you're going to come back to it. Mm -hmm. You want to see that again. I didn't know that. I just, uh, you're telling me that for the first time. <laughs> yeah. No, Vosh. No, 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 no. Shout out, Wolf. <laughs> Those people are <laughs> oh, shit. Man. The Wolf.
You send in the wolf? Oh, shit. Obviously. So it's pretty much entirely a take me at my word or don't kind of situation where people are free to lie about the drawings or... <laughs> August, how much of, it, of the Vosh... Um... Oh, man. Okay. All right. Okay. Poppy <laughs> unlisted. This is the full VOD of Destiny exposing Vosh. Your willingness to... And then I guess the second one is Vosh Irish Laddie VOD. And at six, 20, 6 hours and 20 minutes, that's where he responds to it. Careful. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I agree. That's yikesy. I think that's probably the worst thing I did over all of this because Poppy had demonstrated no sexual interest and I had joked and she was like, no, as long as there's no dick pics. So then I sent something that is technically not a dick pic. And the joke there is, of course, that I have technically fulfilled the requirements of her it's a very bizarre angle um <clears throat> and then we have the apology damn do we want to get do we really want to delve into this i don't think i could do this today though i don't know if i could do this today because I have uh, I have to go to the gym at like six o'clock, six thirty with my wife. Um, that might be a tomorrow thing. A lie? Oh, he's not being honest now. Maybe we'll do it tomorrow. Maybe that'll be something. Oh, dude, I can't believe it. I've already seen on Twitter just post other really bad looking shit and say that's what I had in my folder. There's not much I can do about it. Right? Uh, uh, it's all totally. I'm going to lose. Dude, that's what? such a fucking bullshit thing. It's like, oh, yeah, there's a bunch of rumors out there that oh, all these things. Some's I'm real, some isn't. You had. It doesn't get worse than what it, what it is. It can't get worse. What, like, what does that mean? Uh, watch Destiny going through the logs. I, I, I don't think so. Uh, not today. I have like two hours. I don't know if I, if I can. Two hours might not be enough time, you know? He downloaded the lolly. You have lolly. You, you admitted the to lolly. it being, and you even under, admitted to understanding that it was lolly. You're like, yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. He's like, brother, come on. Uh, I can see and that. as we've said oh, many times, like, he's a streamer. If it was anyone else, they could just say a million things, you know, oh, it was for this or that or whatever. He, because he has this whole history, is what makes it so fucked up, which, yeah. That's Let's the, that's the that thing. Mm -hmm. Unfalsifiable, and I people are going to make whatever assumptions and inferences they want to make. All I can really say is that. I didn't notice the problem while saving the drawings. Uh, the same way a person could fail to notice any element of any drawing if they were careless or in a... Bro, that's such... So this image is like... The, the young-looking characters is the main focus of the images, if I'm recalling correctly. And that's not like buying Where's Waldo and fucking missing the, you know, the Nazi right. in the corner doing a Heil Hitler or something. No, dude. No. And that, is a, that was a good addition. It was unexpected, but good. You can, maybe people didn't know this. Waldo's actually... He's a, a very uh, fervent Nazi. <laughs> Kind of disappointing to learn. What? <laughs> Attentive or distracted. Uh, hell, uh, chat also pretty much immediately clocked two other drawings in the folder preview window as being AI art, something else I didn't notice. And, uh, and they were really upset about that because I'm uh, so against the uh, theft of people's uh, stuff. Uh, they gave me plenty of shit for of that. Of what? Too, because I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan of AI art. Uh, of course. Yeah, I, I think I've done a good job of demonstrating a tendency towards carelessness, if oh. nothing else. So leaving that uh, stupid... But at what point does he say, I just want to fuck horses, I don't want to fuck kids? He says that, right? Yeah, he said he used to make the horse jokes at some point. So he, his strategy is like, I'm going to toss them a ton of bones about how embarrassing and pathetic I am mm -hmm. and hope that they gnaw on those and be like, oh, he's so humble. He's so, he's so, so much humility yeah. um, to admit these things. And then, you know, hopefully they ignore the gaping chasm, which is the real issue here. Um, he needs to now explain that new Discord message. But there's actually, I'm, I'm over talking about Bosch unless you think I missed something. No, I was just going to say that his explanations with context end at 120, roughly the video, and then the rest is just basically him apologizing to his audience, which I think adds on to what you were saying, basically, that he's just basically trying to make himself a victim. Or, yeah, yeah, so, okay, whatever. You, but, but ultimately, he's right. You believe him or you don't. I mean, that, that, at the end of the day, that's what it is. And if you do believe him, chances are you haven't seen the images. That's my opinion. And if you have, then you need help. We've all jerked the lolly at some point or another. Honestly. But there's other... Um, <laughs> okay. Um, interesting <laughs> updates here. What was, there any, what was the other stuff I wanted to see that was Vosh related? Um... Oh, so wait, the Mr. Girl stuff. Oh, this one. Fucking Keffels was coming for me. Ooh, that's kind of hot, no? Yeah, I feel... Isn't Keffels, like, kind of uh, fucked? But not in a good way, of course. Right? Like, isn't um, isn't Mudahar investigating her Catboy Ranch weird shit? Right? Ew. I, I guess I didn't never show this before on stream. I don't think we got Oh, interesting. It. So she posted this... Oh my god, I can't believe what I'm dealing with here. Here's Keffels talking about what a piece of shit I am. 
I have his phone number. He <laughs> gave it to me. I'll try to call him later. Do not fucking call me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember giving you my phone number. I don't remember talking to you on the phone. But do not fucking call me, please. Do you want to know the context of that? No. What's the context? It was back when Twitter circles was still a thing. Whoa. Oh, okay. Yeah, this was when she like claimed that he uh, reached out to her because she was suicidal or something. And he's like, oh, I can give you my number. And somehow this makes him look bad. I think this makes him look good, no? I was suicidal. It was before I went to rehab. Damn. And he saw a Twitter circle where I was talking about how I wanted to just fucking end it. Damn. You? And he reached out and gave End of the therapy or? me his phone number. Wow. Ethan, That's you, what the context was. You piece of shit. Damn. Piece of shit. You piece of shit, Ethan, for reaching out like that. What the fuck am I missing? I totally forgot the context. Actually, now I remember that she mentioned it. Yeah, she. I saw her on Twitter. I saw something that I thought was really um concerning, and I wanted to make sure that she had somebody to talk to if she needed somebody. So I DM'd her and gave her my phone number. Um, she never called me. Um, however, I failed to see. Uh oh, Ethan giving another woman his phone number. <gasps> oh shit! See how that's proof that I'm an asshole. Yeah, that makes him look like a good guy. To be what is she thinking? Was she thinking like, oh, he pretended to care about me, but he doesn't? I think it's like... Sh oh, maybe that was her point. She didn't really <laughs> demonstrate that particularly well. I did not... Now that he said it, maybe that was it. I did, you don't really get that out of it, though. She thinks you're minimizing what that, that she felt that way back in the days? Okay. Or that you turned... Well, she also always says that you turned on her. Like, oh, you put me up as a hero. That's. What, I think people think that, like, I'm... They have this really weird notion of, like, allegiance and, like... Yeah. Um... I don't know her at all. And frankly, because I reached out and I was concerned for her, to me, I do, it's like a human emotion. That's all, because <clears throat> I did something nice for you. Ethan pretending to have human emotions? Ugh. You, um, what I felt was nice. I don't know if it's objectively nice if you perceived it as such, but <clears throat> um, means that I owe you? Then I'm in your debt? It's definitely nice. I mean, what, what do you have to gain from it? You, she's a smaller creator. You reached out to try to help her. I mean. Okay. So, um, yeah, I don't really know. I don't really get it. Like I've done, I, this happened before where people, they are getting fucked with copyright stuff and I reach out and help them with DMCA and it turns out they're not people that I really fuck with and so I end up talking about them and then they get this notion that we were like best friends or something because I helped them with some shit. It's like, I mean, I don't know. I guess for me, helping people like in, in certain situations isn't an endorsement of them as human beings forever. <laughs> tipster's, uh, tipster's body moved energy away from his brain to keep his heart running, but he got two brain child working overtime <laughs> well i mean when you eat really poorly which is typically what happens when you're overweight um you you get like a you get like a brain fog it's hard to explain and you don't really think at like a hundred percent like i've had it before um you know as i eat a little bit better and i, I exercise i feel better i feel like a little bit more mentally stable and a little my memory even feels better um and I would not doubt that that's part of the that's part of the problem. It's part of the it's part of the factor there. Yeah, I mean, Bob thought you guys were friends because he quote unquote took your side with the whole Hassan stuff. Bro, how can you even say that like and, and not be embarrassed? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we got to wrap it up. Dan is telling me, and you're right. This is the whole point. We don't want to end up doing these long ass shows now. Do Bosh. start doing five hour shows. But this is an important message from Chris Hansen. You have to cool it with the horse stuff, pal. Look, I get it. We all have to push boundaries sometimes, but there are lines and. Horses, well, that crosses one of my lines. Watch <laughs> Okay, well, that was that. Incredible. What the fuck is this? Okay. What, are they back? That came out, people don't know if it's real yet. Ugh. Oh my god. Yeah. It sounds bad. Of her with another person? Of just her, I'm pretty sure. The screen. Um, there, there were leaks that came out, people don't know if it's real yet. Oh my god. Yeah. Of who? It sounds bad. Of her with another person? Of just her, I'm pretty sure I haven't looked into it yet. Um, all right. If you have an interest on this day, we'll uh, fuel. All right, enough of that. All right, interesting.